All right, this is a video for you, Casper. I meant to get this a couple days ago, but again, my van's been in the shop for a while. It finally got out yesterday, so I'm pretty happy. 300 bucks later, anyway. Um, but yeah, you said you wanted to see my system, and I figured I'd give you, you and the rest of YouTube, a little tour of it. Um, I did want to say that you're very welcome for that trick. It's it's well known, but I had to, you know, it's hard to. You just got it's got a it's hard to search for really. Not many people will actually attempt it. They actually go out and buy a new head unit from what I've seen when that when the ground issue occurs. I mean that's what I almost did when I bought this little um Pioneer right here. But I'm really glad I didn't because it's got great sound quality, just like most pioneers. And I'll, they'll still get my business, you know, as long as. But the, you, you know, they really do need to step up their game when it comes to those fucking RCA grounds. It's ridiculous to have it happen on four separate units over the course of two years. That's why I said, man, make sure you get your flip screen installed and hooked up right leave those RCA's dead last but I hope like you said I hope you didn't already mess them up but anyway this right here is um Pioneer DH12 it's a uh, I think it's 50 watts times f about four um can't remember the exact specs on it but it's got one set of preamp outs but it doesn't have sub control which is why I had to install that little toggle switch right there It's really hard to put a system in this thing and get good sound quality, or good anything sound-wise, because from the factory, it only came with the dash speakers and an AM, FM radio, no cassette, nothing, no options, really. I mean, it's a 95, and it's still got window rollers. <laughs> but it's it's been a good van so far. I don't know if you can see this, but this is probably, I don't know why I bought it, but that says 309,492 miles, and that's on the stock engine and tr transmission. It's just been a very reliable ride, but enough about the mechanical aspects of it. I guess I'll show you the rest of the system. And that's what the back looks like. basically nothing but a blanket and two seats out of my old Ford van I had and there's my amp back there that's a Audiobahn A400 2T it's getting for it's actually putting out 400 watts RMS at 4 ohms to my little kicker back there and let me turn it on for you it's allowed the coolant fans about to die in it as you can see it's pretty loud it quiets down usually, but it gets the job done. It really does. And I actually, you know... I really don't know. That amp's been a good amp, but like a, it's about all of this is about to get replaced here shortly. I don't know when, but it's coming soon. Put my amp up there, and that's where my other ones are going to go when I get them. But um, there's my little, there's my 15-inch kickers and a 1.5 cubic foot box, and <sighs> tomorrow actually I'm supposed to go and go get a about a three cubic foot ported box. I think I told you in a PM. And I, I cannot wait to see how it sounds in this thing. But um, I meant to, I meant to put it in a PM. But could you send me a link in a PM to the type of deadener you use because I think it would be perfect for this van's roof and the rear doors, as you can see, because it has. Like I said, that's above the front seats, just a headliner, and then it just ends. And then you just have nothing but rattles and 
all kinds of crap. But yeah, Casper, that's about it, man. I hope you like it. And <laughs> like I said, it's nothing much, but it's something. Um, it's uh, some upgrades are coming soon. I don't know what they're gonna be yet, but it'll be something. But um, yeah, man. Just when you uh, when you get the your new other Pioneer in, just make sure. To remember those RCAs and save them for last because you really don't want any static or you don't want to blow the internal fuse on the grounds or whatever they are I, I like I don't really know but I do know how to fix it I don't know if that's going to be a temporary fix for your pioneer but it should get you through a couple months or maybe it'll last a lifetime of it but I just hope uh, I hope it does well for you and I'm glad I could help man that's what this hobby is all about is helping and learning at least for me but um I am enjoying the Civic build a lot man it's great watching it come together and I really can't wait until to see the completed product man I can't wait I'm I'm gonna have to make the drive and meet you at a show <laughs> meet you at a competition just to see it in person but um I'm glad I can help man and I'll keep in touch with you on YouTube and more videos are coming from me but I don't know when yeah, this isn't even my camera um, at the end of the month or whenever I can afford it uh, probably in a couple weeks I'll go ahead and grab me my own camera ain't gonna be great but it'll be something man but um uh, I feel like you right now with this camera angle <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, no problem, and if you have any more questions about it, I'll be glad to at least try to answer them. Um, I'm just, you know, if you're happy, I'm happy, man.